Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama. Welcome to our podcast. Today we're covering the supernatural DC Comics movie, Constantine. Sorry, Keanu Reeves is John Constantine. The story of a reverent supernatural detective, John Constantine, who's literally been to hell and back. When Constantine teams up with skeptical policewoman, Angela Dotson, they work to solve the mysterious death of her twin sister, played mm -hmm. both by Rachel Weisz. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I first saw this movie, I didn't see it when it appeared in theaters. I actually didn't see it until it came out on DVD. And regardless of when I saw it, there was no way you could watch it. You were too young. But I remember the first time that I did see this movie, the imagery was quite disturbing. And it was quite um, graphic, especially the images they had for hell and so forth. I... Thought it was really good. I'm a huge Keanu Reeves fan. There's hardly any of his movies I haven't seen. So I was I was excited that he was in this movie. And then, of course, we had Shia LaBeouf, mm -hmm. who I think is fantastic. And I can't wait to see him in a new movie. We've seen him advertising for him. Mm -hmm. And we also had Jamin Hansu, who yes. played like the guru yeah, type and, character. Yeah, and you've seen him both in Marvel and DC because he was in Shazam and he was in Doctor Strange. So he has a thing for playing supernatural characters. And prior to that, he was also in a lot of hard-hitting dramas when mm -hmm. he did fantastically. But back to Constantine. This is a version that when it came out originally, it did very well. Mm -hmm. And it made it in... And it actually, I would say, made an impression on that genre of movies for superhero movies where the characters themselves were kind of like the anti-hero mm -hmm. or not just the good guy like Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. They had a d very dark, dark side, side yeah. and they were very gritty. And the budget was $100 million. It made over $230 million. So clearly... Right, so it wasn't a it failure. Was no, it wasn't. It had Keanu Reeves. It couldn't be a failure. But it was a spectacular and now I've heard from you and just seeing online how people are saying they don't like this particular version. And I think it's because they are used to seeing the characters as they're depicted now. They're not used to seeing like Punisher and this one and Ghost Rider and again others that were anti-hero dark superheroes. Right. Now you've got this, this uh, genre where... Everyone's happy. Everyone's friendly. There's a bunch of teamwork, but these even, were long... Even Deadpool right. had to be changed in order for it to skyrocket in popularity. It wasn't as dark as he was in X-Men. He had to have a lighthearted side for it to balance out. Right, and these characters themselves are lone wolf type characters. Originally, the way they were created and the way they were depicted in the theatrical movies. And also the way that Keanu Reeves portrayed him, you could tell he was tortured. Um, he was down. He just knows eventually he's going to hell. He just doesn't know when. Mm -hmm. He's got uh, some incurable illness going on. But even in the portrayal that he does of this character, you can tell even that he's crotchety and sullen and so forth that he cares that he helps people. Mm -hmm. That he saves them from utter torment and damnation mm -hmm. you know as the final place that they go mm -hmm. so now um you can because i seem to be dominating this you finally got to see it this year mm -hmm. we watched it together mm -hmm. so first tell them what you thought of it mm -hmm. after i this was my fourth time watching it with you mm -hmm. when we saw it now i personally think it was a great movie mm -hmm. and i know this type of movie probably won't make it now because of the style it was and considering the new constantine now is incredibly popular and they love the new constantine because mm -hmm. in, in contrast this constantine's i think way too calm for people and now. intelligent they, yeah the way they that want, it's done he was very cerebral right and the new constantine they want edgy he's a screw up he's reckless he's with everybody mm -hmm. quite literally figure <laughs> quite figuratively and literally if you watch legends yeah. he's like dr strange he drinks he smokes he parties he has his tongue over but people still love him for some reason <laughs> but but unlike when, dr strange he's not brainy uh, <laughs> he knows it's a cult but he's not right. He just kind of cerebral. Yeah, if something bad happens to him, then he'll figure it out. But if not, he couldn't care less. So right. it's a whole right. different character, and he looks like Castiel, sort of. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. They're kind of mished together a bunch of characters to make this new Constantine that people seem to really, really love and say he's the best version because he's so 
complex. I'm like, I'm not seeing it, but it's great that the guy who's playing him has some work exactly. and he's getting some and recognition. The getting some more right. play too. Right. Now for Keanu Reeves, I thought he was very great at playing this version of Constantine. Mm -hmm. And I've seen people suggest he should play Eraserhead for the live action My Hero yes, Academia movie. Yes, I agree. Movie. 100%. So course. he could Pull, pull off the demeanor and for here he pulled off the type of character well it never seemed like it was out of place or mm -hmm. it was too stone cold or too much of this or that there was still a balance and it fit with the the movie mm -hmm. and its tone was super dark and even it had some like very small lighthearted moments that worked but you mm -hmm. knew it was still gonna be this darkness and this danger kind of like ghost rider and also one reason we're really doing this podcast is because when well, we haven't and two, we saw on Twitter that Keanu is putting feelers out there, letting uh, DC know he wants to play the character again mm -hmm. in the new DCEU universe. Right. And I, of course, we've all seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and the sequels, and we know there's another one coming out. So you know without a doubt that Keanu can do comedy. So if they want him to do a lighthearted version like mm -hmm. the CW version, right. he absolutely positively can nail it. Mm -hmm. So I think they really should cast him Right. It. Or if they want to do a blend half horror, half comedy, mm -hmm. like with Deadpool's like action and stuff, but it's still a comedy throughout. It wasn't like dark and deep like the X-Men, the original X-Men version before they retooled him. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that could definitely work out. And they could definitely bring in some more characters in DC Universe that aren't as well known known and don't have to rely on the animated movies to bring in viewership because it seems like dc only gets a lot of attention when it's the dceu you do criticize it or it's the animated uh, movies which seem to really surpass the live action and mm -hmm. it's the reverse for marvel so if they could do that then that would really help out people watching the DC Universe, because with Aquaman and Shazam, they're saying this final splitting. So doing a movie like that would really help to bring back uh, another theatrical Constantine without them constantly comparing to the Loved uh, Legends one. And also we need to mention Tilda Swinton. She played this androgynous angel who, now that we've seen the anime series Black Butler, she reminds me a lot of the angel that Sebastian was doing battle with during that entire series. Right. She appeared at sometimes. This character appears sometimes as a male angel and sometimes as a female angel. And you didn't know to the end of season one it's the same character. Black Butler is so old if you haven't seen it. <laughs> but Tilda Swinton played this same type of angel in here. She did a fantastic job. And you find out just how twisted she is in terms of hating humanity. And she really hated Constantine and all he stood for. But as usual, she did a fantastic job. And we did mention her when we were talking about the cast. So I thought we definitely had to mention her. Ah, uh, yeah. Good idea. So, 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 he... <laughs> so if you've seen Constantine, I hope it wasn't when you were very little, let us know what you think in the comments below. Let us know if you think he would be a great addition to the DCEU DCEU universe. Well, whichever, yeah. <laughs> and if, if you think Keanu Reeves can definitely tackle the role as a lighter, more friendlier Constantine, more more like the CW version. I think he can because he can handle any type of role. He's proven it time and time again. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Right. Yes, I love Keanu Reeves. <laughs> yes, and like I said, I think he could pull off, someone, when someone suggested, I think he could pull off playing mm -hmm. Erased Head for the live action American Academia. So if they haven't done casting yet, might as well go ahead and get him and what we say for playing Midoriya and get Dwayne Johnson as all my, yeah, just get those out of the way yes, now. Yes, <laughs> So... So, thank you so much for watching, and yes. let us know what you think of the movie in the comments below. Absolutely. I'm Asker Entertainment. And I'm Mama Entertainment. Have a tuntastic day. Peace. And the water sitting, flashing lights. Trying to walk around, man, who the hell are you? What you want to do? My man, it's on you. Man, it's on you. Put her in my dreams. She was my queen. A castle in the mountaintops, rivers and streams. Plucking sunlight from the sky in my pocket. Give it to you later on in the form of a locket.